Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. Now, did you think that CNN's troubles were over? Well, let me answer quickly and decisive nope. Some might even argue that CNN's troubles are just getting started. It's been a seriously bad couple of months for CNN. I mean, mounting scandal one after another. And while CNN isn't in the clear just yet, as more internal trouble is revealed, legal issues for the network seem right on the horizon. And CNN's new streaming service, CNN CNN Plus is apparently already failing and already in big trouble before it's even been released. We're now even seeing reports that CNN's new ownership group might even axe the project entirely. Folks, CNN has been in big trouble, but the trouble continues to follow them, which many may argue is well-deserved and those people would be right. Let me update you guys on everything that's going on at CNN. The good, the bad, and the ugly, except it's all bad and ugly. But of course, before we get into any of it, please make sure to leave a like, a comment, subscribe, share the video as much as possible. We are still shadow and by the YouTube algorithm hidden from non-subscribed viewers. And with that out of the way, let's roll the tape. All right, folks, so take a look at this piece right over here. Jeff Zucker's exit throws a wrench in CNN's streaming plans. The ousted network chief was closely involved in prepping CNN+, Plus, but now the forthcoming services strategy and future as a standalone platform is in doubt, with new ownership expected soon. Weeks before it even launches, CNN's streaming service CNN+, Plus is contemplating a strategic pivot, with the February 2nd resignation of CNN chief Jeff Zucker after the disclosure of a relationship with CNN chief marketing officer Allison Golist, and with Discovery's takeover of Warner Media set to close in in the next few months, now that U.S. regulators have given the green light, insiders are questioning what will happen next to the forthcoming service. Specifically, CNN Plus is betting on a business model that is already being questioned internally at the news giant, and a programming lineup that has Zucker's fingerprints throughout. In other words, everything from how CNN Plus is sold to the shows that will underpin its offering will likely face fresh scrutiny once Discovery takes charge and a new chief executive is in place. And so essentially, CNN Plus was Jeff Zucker's little pet project, and with Jeff Zucker gone, new ownership coming in, and of course, Jeff Zucker's now tarnished reputation, well, it's possible that CNN Plus undergoes some serious changes, or at least that's the current speculation once Discovery takes over. There's also speculation that this new ownership group wants to take CNN in a completely different direction, doing less biased CNN bullcrap that we've gotten used to, and going back to the roots of neutral coverage. And so it seems as though CNN, in Jeff Zucker's image, is most likely going to be no more going forward. It seems as though CNN is about to face a serious, serious shakeup in the post-Jeff Zucker era, an era that continues to tarnish the brand of CNN. And here's what I'm talking about when I say CNN's problems are just getting started. Brian Stelter on Zucker Cuomo exits. This is a legal mess for CNN. When CNN President Jeff Zucker abruptly resigned earlier this month, we know that Zucker and Gullis were personally involved in CNN's coverage of New York Governor Andrew Cuomo, while Cuomo's brother Chris was an anchor here. We know those brotherly interviews at the start of the pandemic were controversial. We know that later on, Chris helped Governor Cuomo and the governor's aides fend off sexual harassment allegations. We know that Zucker stayed loyal to Chris while critics called for the anchor man to be suspended. And we know that Zucker eventually did suspend and then fire Chris Cuomo in December. Zucker said he would not pay out the rest of Cuomo's contract. Cuomo's legal team then turned around and said, basically, why was he fired for ethical lapses if Zucker and Gullist were guilty of the same thing? And that's what caused a third-party law firm to ask lots and lots of questions, including about Gullist's interactions with the former governor and Zucker's relationship with Gullist. I was told by a source that Zucker can't comment further on the, the, the substance of why he left when he did and what happened. Maybe that's because of some legal agreement. Wouldn't that make sense, Joe, in a situation like this? Everybody's lawyered up. Chris Cuomo might sue. Cuomo's lawyer apparently wants tens of millions of dollars out of this network, so this is now a legal mess for CNN. This is a legal mess for CNN. And yes, my friends, it is. Brian Stelter previously stated that Chris Cuomo plans to blow the whole place up or burn the place down, metaphorically, of course. And of course, Brian Stelter would only say that if he had insider information, which clearly he does, and clearly he had before Jeff Zucker even left, proving just how much of a disingenuous liar he was to pretend as if the whole thing was surprising. And you know what? In this situation, I never thought I would ever utter these words, but I'm actually on Chris Cuomo's side. So there's about to be a legal battle between CNN and Chris Cuomo, where the argument coming from Chris Cuomo's team is that Chris was actually used as a scapegoat, thrown to the pack of wolves that is the media, thrown under a bus, in order to save Jeff Zucker and save CNN. And it does make sense. I mean, all of a sudden, there's this accusation against Chris Cuomo, and of course the scandal that was brewing around him and his brother, how Chris Cuomo was trying to use his media influence and power to help his brother escape the scrutiny and escape the scandal that he was facing, journalistic malpractice. But what we're seeing right now that makes this whole thing messy is that Ms. Gullist and 
and Jeff Zucker are alleged to have been part of the whole messaging campaign involving Andrew Cuomo in the first place. CNN parent found Allison Golust's remarks on Jeff Zucker relationship were misleading. CNN executive was ousted after discussing interview topics with Governor, of course, Governor Andrew Cuomo. And so Miss Gullis has now officially resigned from CNN for the same thing that got Chris Cuomo in trouble in the first place. So Chris Cuomo is now suing CNN for firing him for something that they themselves were involved with and knew about in the first place. Undisclosed relationship with Allison Golas, which in the end seemed to be a distraction from the real scandal, which was that Chris Cuomo was implicating them in the Andrew Cuomo scandal. And the whole thing seems to finally make sense, at least if you guys are following, I'm maybe not doing the best job explaining it. And poor old little potato head Brian Stelter is caught in the middle, continuously lying and protecting his puppet master Jeff Sucker. But what an absolute mess, to say the least. And it truly is just getting started. Let me give you the rundown. All the scandal that CNN has been involved with over the last couple of months, followed up now by a massive lawsuit, a shakeup at CNN Plus, and what some people are speculating, that the new ownership group is about to come in and clean house, Don Lamont say goodbye, Brian Stelter, have a good time. And the question remains, at least in the short term, how is CNN going to survive? I mean, this was the headline last week. Scandal plagued CNN records the worst ratings in seven years. CNN averaged only 444,000 viewers from February 7th to the 13th, marking its lowest rating since November 2015, Fox News reports. If they tanked all the way down to 400,000 viewers after the previous scandals, could you imagine where CNN is going to go after all this is said and done? Or once we're in the middle of all of it, all the drama, Don Lamont's legal troubles and his past starting to finally catch up to him? Well, folks, CNN is in serious, serious big trouble. Is it any surprise that Chris Wallace was absolutely panicking after he quit Fox to join CNN Plus, and then all of this craziness started to develop involving Jeff Zucker? Well, most likely, Chris Wallace is starting to understand what he got himself into. He left that terrible place, Fox News, for the greener pastures of CNN. I mean, give me a break. That's like leaving the San Antonio Spurs or the Golden State Warriors for the New York Knicks, thinking you're making a really wise career move and joining a serious team franchise. CNN continues to crumble, frankly continues to receive exactly what it deserves, and it seems as though the era of Jeff Zucker's CNN is finally coming to an end, and hopefully, I mean, we'll have to see, let's give them the benefit of the doubt, but hopefully, under new ownership, under Discovery's new vision, maybe, there might be something redeemable, something to salvage out of the shrapnel, out of the debris, from the train wreck that is CNN. Of course, we'll have to see. But right now, they are crashing and burning in absolutely epic fashion. And who would have seen that one coming? That's what I got for you guys, though. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share it as much as possible. We are still shadow banned by the YouTube algorithm hidden. I'm non-subscribe viewers. I'm going to get back to work, though. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.